Now to the tragedy in Tucson and the very latest developments. The husband of the woman who took Christina Green to the rally says she's being haunted by flashbacks and the family of the accused gunman says no words can express their sorrow. CBS 2's Amy Murphy has a look tonight at the grief and the guilt binding all sides in this tragedy. Guilt and grief, two abundant emotions resulting from the tragedy in Tucson. In a written statement, the parents of accused assassin 22-year-old Jared Loeffner write, We don't understand what has happened. We care deeply about the victims and their families. Neighbors say they blame themselves. Grief specialist and founder of griefhaven.org, Susan Whitmore, says mirror neurons in the human brain often reflect intense tragedy seen in others, and Loeffner's parents are most likely feeling that. And doing a lot of what ifs. What did I miss? What if I had done this? Maybe these people would be alive. Today, the press heard from Bill Heilman, husband of Susie Heilman, also injured in the attack, and the woman who took nine-year-old Christina Taylor Green to meet Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords. Her husband says even in her morphine-induced haze, she's dealing with guilt. I hear her in her semi-conscious ramblings, screaming out, Christina, Christina, let's get out of here, let's get out of here. As for the Green family's overwhelming grief, Whitmore says one never gets over the death of a child, but really only learns to live with it. The parents go through a huge range of emotions, um, rage, intense gut-wrenching pain that's unlike anything they've ever experienced. Amy Murphy, CBS2 News.